Look at this beautiful baby named Huadrin, which directly translates to flower roll due to its spiral shape. And it's actually just a steamed bun filled with scallions and the most amazing fragrant oil. We're about to make all of it right now. Let's get started. I enjoy this Korean brand of all-purpose flour, but any will do. Here we have our potion of the most amazing Ball Bay fragrant oil, and we're gonna make it from scratch right now. Cut around six to eight roots and ends of scallions, depending on the size. This measurement really does not have to be exact. And also one shallot finely diced. We're going to be cooking this with about two cups of vegetable oil, starting on a high heat. Throw in our onions, then simmer on a low heat for about 20 minutes. When we get that gorgeous golden color, it's ready. Let it cool down. We're going to start the dough by preparing a cup with water, yeast, and sugar and letting it set aside to bloom for 10 minutes. In your bowl with flour and salt, pour in your yeast water in increments while stirring. I like to start mixing with a stick until we get a shape begin to form. Knead down and out with your hands. Once the dough gets a bit smooth, transfer to a surface. Finish off kneading for about 7 to 10 minutes. Softly shape it into a ball. Coat the bowl with a bit of oil on the top and bottom. Distribute it evenly, then cover it up. Let it rise for one and a half to two hours. The hotter the temperature, the faster it takes. Depending on the size of your scallions, you'll want to use around four to six. Split them in half carefully using your top hand to guide the knife. Dice, making sure the white parts are a little bit more fine. Our dough is fluffy and has doubled its size. It's ready. Final kneading for three minutes to infuse all the oil and make sure there's no air bubbles inside. Dust your workspace with a bit of flour. Create an initial rectangle shape with your hands. Roll evenly from top to bottom. Rotate horizontally, then work each side out slowly until you get an even thickness and rectangle shape all around. Gently massage and give the spices an equal treatment around the whole dough. Be sure to use enough scallions to get a hefty layer across. Then carefully roll from bottom to top into a spiral shape, making sure that from left to right, all sides are moving up evenly. Tuck it in while rolling to ensure that it's secure and tight. 
should be around four to five full rotations. Do not rush this process. Stretch it out, then cut into one inch wide pieces. You want these a bit length long, but not that wide. Push down the middle with chopsticks. Turn it around. Place the chopstick on the bottom and use it as a center for rotation. Roll up until it meets the end. Push the chopsticks down to seal it, then quickly take it out. Our spiral of scallion beauty. Let these rise again before cooking for 20 to 30 minutes. You'll see a slight size increase and when the dough bounces back at you like this, it's ready. For our final stage, steam for 10 minutes. Look how pretty that is. You can see how quickly the bun bounces back up. It just shows these are made well. Mm. That deep onion flavor just really resonates with the rest of the dish. Fluffy, fragrant, salty, and great for any family and friends. It definitely takes some practice to get the shape right, but if you can't get it, don't worry about it. As long as you follow the recipe, these buns will still taste magnificent. And I promise you, once someone takes a bite of this, they are not gonna care what it looks like. Ball bay, scallion buns, and don't forget about that fragrant oil. It is game changing to anything you use it on. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I would love to see you guys take your own stab at it. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe and share. And don't forget to chop, chop, chop that like button. Thanks for watching.